How the first convoy of trucks ferrying crude oil produced from the fields of Kenya's Turkana County is expected to leave Lokichar on June the 3rd. This comes after State House struck a deal with the county government of Turkana on sharing of oil revenues that clears the way for the implementation of the early oil pilot scheme. CGTN's Alexandria Majala is in Turkana and brings us this report. The once sleepy town of Lokichar in Turkana County is wide awake. For almost five decades, little changed, but today it's another story. Tarred roads replace dusty tracks. The handful of stalls that passed for a market has been replaced by a sprawling shopping center. There's electricity, access to clean water, healthcare facilities, a whole new world for the mostly pastoral community. The development is spurred by the discovery of oil. But for a community where most live in abject poverty, it comes with a distinct set of challenges. Most uh, of our people here were not uh, ready for this uh, oil. Uh, they heard about it, but they never thought about how will, they, how will it change their lives, for example. Dividing up the oil revenue has also been a bone of contention, with the central and county governments locked in lengthy negotiations. For its part, the community has been adamant that no crude will leave Lokichar unless the town gets 10% of the proceeds. Finally, a deal has been struck. The central government will get 75% of all oil revenue from the area. The county administration has settled for 20%, and the communities in Turkana East and South, where the oil wells are based, will split the remaining 5%. The revenue will complement the $100 million allocated to the county from the national budget. But now the government is suggesting the oil income be capped at the equivalent of the county's budget allocation. And not everyone agrees. You know, there was also an element of capping, which was uh, also a bad uh, thing that we were thinking. If the oil prices are high, then communities will not be able to benefit sufficiently if that will be the case. The revenue stream isn't the only dispute that's emerged since the discovery of oil. We heard that the president is coming to flag off the first consignment of oil for export. But we don't know who's coming to transport this oil. Earlier, we were told that once the oil is ready to be moved, drivers from this area would receive special training on how to transport the oil. And once the training was done, we would be in charge of the transportation. While it's still unclear how exactly the money will be spent, it is evident that the Turukana economy is set for transformation. However, the jury is out as to whether or not the discovery of black gold is a blessing or a curse. Alexandria Majala for CGTN in Lokicha, Turukana County, Kenya.